Hey YouTube, it's raining again today, so I figured I'd do a, a rainy day project I've been putting off for a little while. I have some old pipe wrenches I want to restore, and they built up quite a bit of rust. And I figured I'd use, try to use electrolysis to remove the rust. Now electrolysis is basically using electricity in a, in a vat of conductive fluid to draw the rust off of one piece of iron to another piece of iron. Basically what I'm going to have is a five gallon bucket that I have to uh, submerge the piece in water and I'm going to use I'm going to use regular sodium carbonate or super washing soda uh, one tablespoon per gallon to make the water more conductive now this is washing soda this is not baking soda baking soda though it, uh, is sodium bicarbonate you want to understand you don't want to use this you want to use sodium carbonate you'd find this in all your big box stores Walmart what have you we use this at, uh, to make our own laundry detergent so we have laundry detergent it's actually cheaper than what you normally buy and it also doesn't have all those extra dyes and perfumes, but enough about that. So, I'm going to submerge the, uh, when I submerge the wrench in the water, I'm going to put the negative, a negative lead from my battery charger on it, and the positive lead on the piece to the sacrificial iron. And the iron, in this case, I'm using a railroad spike, and want to understand also the type of metal you put in there you want to be careful because stainless steel can release the chemical reactions if stainless steel was put in this could release hydrogen gas so and it's going to be bubbling no matter what I'm not sure of all the chemical reactions in this this reaction so you should do it outside in a little bit of that area like your carport but anyway, let me change the camera shot and I'll show you what I got. Okay, excuse me, noise from the traffic or neighbor's dogs or what have you. But what we have here is a bucket of water. Five, in a five, uh, five gallons and I'm going to add five tablespoons of the sodium carbonate excuse me sodium carbonate to uh, incre increase the conductivity of the water As I said before, I have not actually tried this myself yet, so we're learning together. First pipe wrench I want to redress, redo. I'm just going to use it also as a spoon to kind of stir the material up a little bit real quick. Now, to keep the positive and negative leads apart, I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of wood to hang them from. I'm just going to hang the wrench on this hook. Let it go ahead and get submerged in the water. And for the sacrificial iron, I'm going to use an old railroad spike. Go ahead and hang that in. Battery charger. I'm going to connect the negative to the wrench and the positive to the sacrificial spike and if you remember your science lessons all those years ago whenever you were in school you know that electricity travels from the negative pole to the positive 
and the theory is the electrons will pull the rust from the iron and make it go to the sacrificial iron, in this case the railroad spike. So let me go ahead and plug this in. I got it set. I got my battery charger set for the lowest setting, which is six amps, six watts. And I'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours. I'm not sure how good this is showing on camera, but you can already see some bubbling happening with on the, the iron that uh, rod that I'm using to hold the wrench on which I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem or not. I'm pretty sure this is aluminum iron alloyed wire. It should be good. I can see some bubbles forming on the wrench itself. Let me get the camera over so you can see a little better yourself too. Excuse any Batman camera angles here but not sure how good that's coming out on there but you can already see some bubbles forming from the re from the electric and chemical reaction so I'm gonna check back in an hour or so and see how it, it how it looks okay guys it's been an hour I already took the leads off let's see what it looks like Well, that's better than it did, did before. I'm going to let it soak, put the electrodes back on, and see what it looks like after a couple more hours. Definitely some corrosion building up on the sacrificial iron part. Let me see how that goes in a little while. Okay, it's been about 15 hours. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. I think I'm gonna rinse that off, hit that with a wire brush, disassemble, and uh, get ready for paint. It's a sacrificial iron piece, looks like, by the way. Oh, here's the wrench. Rinsed off what it looks like compared to one of the other wrenches in the set that was in the same condition it was in I think that's a big improvement I'm going to hit that with a, a wire brush, finish cleaning it up and then uh, paint it and it should be ready for another 20-30 years thanks for watching